Hey everyone, follow along with me today while I build this website directly in Framer. Let me show you the quick preview. It's an intro animation for a website called The Collective. I created the image in Midjourney and put together the website with the header animation directly in Framer. It's pretty simple, but it looks pretty cool. So let's get started. <music> Let's create a new document. Let's start by making the page 1440, 800. And let's see what color did we make for this. Let's grab the same one, dark purple. There we go. All right, let's start by making the gradient in the top. So let's go to layout, add frame. Drag out the box, like so. Let's make sure it's inside the desktop. There you go. Fill, radial. And let's make the white a dark purple, kind of, like so. Let's take this one, make it black, and like this. Let's see if we can make it smaller. Just clicked, happens a lot. There we go. Styles, blending. Let's add a lighten to it, or even something like this. And let's set the opacity to zero point. Let's add the image. So, but before we do that, let's go into Discord where I created this image. Female anime style hoodie illustration, vibrant, because we want lots of colors. Let's grab this one and save it. Save image. Now that we've saved it from Discord, let's go into Figma. I have it here. Let's find our image on my downloads folder. I have a lot of stuff, here we go. Then let's move, use a plugin called remove background. This one. Say run, remove background. Here we go. Let's save that one. Export hero. Good. Let's go back into Framer. Let's go to layout, image. Let's draw out a box like so. Choose image. Here we go. Let's scale her up like this. So let's make sure we can. Finder again, hero, and this is the gradient. Good. Now let's add the the big type here. Text. Mk to fifty. And the font was Nipo. Let's make it white. Just click. Let's make it white. Let's say 500. Let's make it bold. And as you can see, the spacing needs a bit of work. So let's try. Let's make sure these are spaced properly, like between here and here. This one looks okay. Now we just need to focus on this. So let's highlight this one and let's pull it in like so. That looks all right. Let's take the color and find a good pink. Something like this. Let's re save this under styles. Say primary. Like so. Good. Now, in order to create the animation that runs in the background, as you can see here, this one. Let's go into insert, interactive, ticker. Let's drag it to the canvas. Draw it like this. By using text, we cannot just go directly like this. We need to place this one in a frame. So let's right click, add frame, move the background or the fill rather. Let's just scale it in a little bit like this. 
let's call this one type. Let's pull it out here. Take this, the little round circles here and drag it over to the frame, like so. So if we run it now, it looks like this. We always already have there. Let's place the hero on top. Let's do some things here to this one. Padding, we don't want any padding. And we don't want any gap either. But now everything is just stacked together, as you can see. It's almost the same spacing. It's fine. Let's do that. Maybe we can even adjust it a bit by doing like this. We should solve the issue with the spacing between them. There you go. Now they are very close together, which looks good. All right. Let's add the circles in the background by saying layout, frame. But before we do that, actually, let's lock these so we don't mess up or select them by accident. Lock. And now we can draw our fancy box here. Radius 100, 100%. Let's remove the fill and add a border. Let's say, let's pick the primary and maybe tone it down a little bit, like 60%. And let's add a width to it, let's say three pixels. Looks good. And final thing, let's make sure it's center. Center. Now, while we're here, let's center her as well, like so. Lock her again. Lock. So let's call this one small circle or inner, perhaps. Let's duplicate it. Let's while holding Alt and shift let's make it a bit bigger like this let's call this outer very original i know outer here we go good so far so good let's create the header in the top so let's write the selective let's make it white medium and let's say 40 or even regular, I think. Transform, uppercase, sure. And spacing. Let's drag it into place. It's a tad big, so let's make it smaller. Let's say 28. Now we need the icon to go on the other side. Insert, icon, phosphor make it white also and this one is should be 32 just pull it in here as well and say 24 let's highlight both right click add to stack now they are both centered so let's take the distribute and say space between so now they are placed on both sides right Place the circles behind like so. Let's find these characters. So instead of just copying from here, that would be easy, but let me just show you where I got them. So I use this website called simplecopy.com where you can just pick whatever you want. I'm not sure if they have any meaning, but since I don't speak Japanese, but I just picked the ones that I thought looked cool. So let's take, not the smiley, but this one. And then we just take some text copy there you go let's say 48 let's find another one this one and finally this one let's pull it up here and instead of going with opacity let's use a gray color instead and let's drag to duplicate Let's go find some other ones. This one. This 
one. And lastly, let's do the smiley one. Let's place it here. If we preview, we have something that looks like this. Not too bad, this one needs to be pulled up a bit. Let's try it again. Very nice. And let's lastly, let's just take the text here. Copy, pressing T, copy, paste, color, white. And for the text, I'm not using body, I'm using author. Let's say 16. And let's make it medium with a width of 600. Maybe a bit too much, so let's do something here. Let's call it description one, and we need one more. This one. Let's make this one the pink. Primary. As you can see, these two are clashing a bit, so let's turn the opacity down on these. Let's say zero point or even more 0.2 and in the original concept we also had some circles over here so let's create them as well this one we should rename to menu or navigation rather text text yes inner circle yes but let's duplicate the inner circle right clicking Duplicate or Control D, and let's make it 100. Or even smaller, actually, like this. And while we're here, let's do one more. I'm just dragging and holding Alt to duplicate it, like so. Good. Let's add this small circle. This one was, I don't know, medium circle. Let's grab all the circles here and put them into a frame. Let's call it background circles. Now let's get started with the animation. Let's start by adding an animation to her. Unlock it. Effects appear. Scale in from the bottom. Let's make it instead of spring. I don't like the spring one. It's so quick. I'm gonna do something like this and let's say 0.8. Sorry. bit too slow so let's make it a little bit quicker we can even do something with the big ticker let's do that as well let's lock her again because we don't need her anymore or we don't not going to do anything with it effects up here let's make it slide in from the right effect not spring ease still let's delay 0.2 seconds like these needs to be bold I think let's fade these in as well here fade in let's bring do the same between or ease that we've done with the others let's wait like half a second this one should wait to come in a little bit later than this one so let's adjust the, the delay one two seconds so now she comes in first this one comes and then these fade in. this one's a bit quick let's offset it by 200 let's make time let's make it even slower actually. let's see how one second looks i think the issue is that it comes in way too fast so i think the issue is the distance it travels so let's say offset by 50 instead of 200 see how that looks much better let's check this and this let's add some appear effects on that as well we need to slide in from the bottom 
that spring. Fade in like this. So we're in five seconds. This one should come in with a delay of 0 0.5 seconds, 0 0.4 perhaps. And then this one, let's say 0 0.8. All right, so far so good. Now we have the basics. So let's do something with the circles. Let's take the inner and outer circle, let's create a appearance effect and this should scale in. Let's see how it looks with the spring. Didn't even see it. So quick. Let's add it again. Let's use ease again. Ease in, ease out. One second. And then the inner circle should come first. Let's delay that one by 0 0.4. And the outer circle, 0 0.8, just to see how it looks. I know it comes in at the same time as these, but that's okay. Or let's make it a little bit snappier, actually. Start again. Good. Let's do the same, just uh, quick ones with these. Gonna play with timing on those, it's just gonna fade in, no scale in. Effect, spring no. Easy knees out, let's say back in. No, back out. Time, 0 0.4, and let's delay it by 0 0.7. We'll do something like this where we take this entire one, the background circle, effects loop what should it do it should rotate 360 degrees transition linear let's say time 10 seconds let's see how that looks right now it's off center and it looks pretty odd so let's see if we can center it pull these one out well, let's uh remove the stack let's try again take these add stack or add frame sorry and let's pull this one in Right now the overflow is set to hidden, so you can't see the circle, so it's pretty visible. Let's see how it looks if we add the, the loop again. Effects, loop, linear is fine, 10 seconds, that's good. And there we go. And the final thing missing is just to do something with the menu, or the navigation rather. Let's scale that one in. Let's make it come in from the top. Slide in top. Effects. Say back out again. And let's say one. That's delayed by 1.5. Final piece of the puzzle is to take the gradient and let's do the same. Fade in, it's fine. Let's fade it in using our favorite piece out. One second, 2.5 seconds. And just let it play from the start. Good, see. Start again. I'm not too keen on this animation with the circles. Let's make it, it's a bit too fast, I think. Let's make it much slower. Let's say back out. Let's say one second again. See how it looks. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can use this tutorial to add animations to your own website in Framer. It's very easy and it's very fun. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really means a lot. So until next time, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next video.